The vision for Levy is to create a very unique setting with uh, first and foremost a unique kitchen. Um, the combination of Italian and Japanese cooking is, uh, is going to be quite spectacular. Um, but that is just one part. Think of a, a chair, there's four legs. Now the kitchen is only one. Design is definitely another very important leg. We want to create an ambiance, an atmosphere and a setting that is unique to Copenhagen. Something that speaks of an international standard and uh, basically make you think of being somewhere else once you enter. Historically, I started my career in Italy when I was a very young guy working in wine and um, of course fell in love with the Italian way of life. One name stood out uh, when you were uh, when you were you know, connoisseur in all things Italian. Like, uh, Grappa, of course, always ends a good meal in Italy, and there's one producer above them all. That's Romano Levi. I've I've just always been in love with uh, what he's done uh, from a quality point of view. Definitely by far the best Grappa there is, but also the way he created an artistic and quite sensuous atmosphere around his products. So I. Th thought, of course, doing something Italian. Why not make it an homage to Romano Levi and uh, his sister Lydia, to what they've created. I took a lot of decisions that went with metal and bagbar. Because there were a lot of things that were a little bit unknown, and now we've taken decisions. Come, come, come. Uh, på at uh, hvordan metal kører og hvordan det suspender yeah. og nu er Gørdan glad fordi yeah. han var der bygges. Okay. Det var jeg faktisk også. Yeah. Godt. So when we talked about the brief with uh, both Romano Levi and also the Japanese influence, it was a question of finding, you know, how to take these two very different kitchens and very different nationalities and blend them together. So it was looking at materiality, looking at what would be in a 50s Italian restaurant. Obviously it would be beautiful marble, it would be uh, terrazzo, and uh, in the Japanese way it would be to put the owner into some very pure and beautiful wood as well as textiles. So we take the inspiration from Japan for its simplicity and authenticity. For example, we have the wooden columns and the wooden uh, uh, beams, which is uh, creates a simple like a design frames in the whole restaurant, and also it creates the the rhythm of the space, but also sometimes creating the depths, like a Japanese design. The acoustics is is not an easy thing to do, uh, especially if you have a, a high seating clearance. So we chose to use something called quadrat acoustics which is basically high quality fabrics that are stretched out with a distance to the ceiling where we have put uh, acoustics buffers. So for the floor, we are using the terrazzo floor, which is a common the materials in the Italy's. So we place the, the terrazzos in a very like a simple and a calm way with an aluminum profile inlaid detail like these lines. We also mount the, the logo inside of the terrazzo. The first thing the guests come to the restaurant you see the logo of the Levy. So our project uh, for this restaurant was not only to look at the interior design and the architecture. Actually, everything you can think about in this restaurant's design have been through the studio. And that is uh, one of the things we do with Pride because I think it's very important that when you create something that ends up as a brand, it has to be kind of a full circle, uh, a, a pure holistic way of thinking about design.
create a very strong visual approach on the restaurant itself. You want a contrast that is very obvious when you go to the bathrooms, because I think bathrooms are integrated and very important part of the restaurant experience. So we chose, instead of trying to make the same all the way down in the basement where the bathrooms are located, we wanted to create a completely different journey. A journey where it, it changes from this very um, material-based um, look of the restaurant to a very pure one-color experience from the staircase that takes you down to the actual bathrooms. And it's very intentional because you want to have this immersive experience when getting out of the restaurant. Uh, also because it's a journey, you don't dwell so much, you just go down and you do your thing. But at the same time, it has to be immersive and very different than the rest of the restaurant. And that is an obvious choice we have done simply to create a contrast. I, uh, I do think that the original um, idea we came through the door with and how we presented the project to the design team back uh, when we started has changed a bit, yes. Um, in the beginning, we probably were thinking of creating a slightly more neighborhood feel to the restaurant. Um, the location itself, calls for a very buzzy and lively uh, environment. And uh, the design team has taken us, uh, thank God I would say, in a, in a different direction and uh, has refined it quite a bit. I think we've been able to create a beautiful setting where you feel, you feel welcome, uh, whether you're just there for a coffee or, uh, or a big treat and, and a big dinner. And we wanted to be an embracing, warm and um, including atmosphere. And I think we've, uh, we've definitely succeeded with that. Thank you.